So Jody, uh, a big fight for you here. Um, just how how important is this one? Obviously, you look at the record 0 and 3 so far. Uh, it must feel like you need this one, right? I feel like I need every fight, you know. Um, but yeah, is is this uh, more important? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. How do you compartmentalize that? Obviously, you know, not. I'm sure how you want the UFC run, but you look at the record, you're fighting some of the very best people in this division. Um, how do you just kind of digest all that and look at it uh, in terms of your career perspective? You know, uh, my first three fights in the UFC were against uh, pretty tough opponents, and that makes things a little bit easier to digest. Um, with that, we're in the UFC. Everybody's a tough opponent. Um, so it's important in life in general to not live in the past. Um, so I'm ready. I'm ready now. I took those experiences as, as wisdom and knowledge and, and growth and um, I'm ready. I wasn't ready then and that's why it didn't pan out the way it did, you know, and, and I'm ready now. What, what does that really mean? Like did something feel like click, whether it's mentally or in training or anything like that? Everything, all together. Um, training, my creativity as a martial artist, um, allowing myself to to really explore MMA more, you know, and, and um, mentally, I feel like everything's changed now. Everything's different, and and um, it's hard to explain. But I really feel like I just, for whatever reason, I wasn't ready, and and I am now. Did Did you make any changes to like training or anything? Just how maybe you approach it, whether it's from a mental side or a physical side? Yeah, both. Um, Smarter, uh, training smarter. Uh, I didn't. I, I've trained at Jackson's Winkle Johns in in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and that'll that'll always be my home. I, I traveled a bit to train after my last fight, um, but changes within myself, you know, and, and mentally, um, but physically too. Knowing that I've never pushed myself to my limit, and and that's odd fighting in the UFC and, and saying like uh, not I'm not saying that I didn't ever leave it a hundred percent in there but like let's 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 be as tired as you can possibly be let's push the pace let's like I'm that athlete like I can I can do that so let, let's be that fighter would you say like uh, maybe a better way do you like have regrets maybe when you leave the cage of like what you could have done I mean I'm sure every fighter looks back and it's like I could have done this here and here but is there something that maybe you feel stronger in that sense I think, um, yeah, I, th I think so. I think I just didn't allow myself um, to, to let go. To, and I know fighters talk about that, oh, I just gotta let my hands go, I just gotta go. But like, um, I felt like I was a little reserved or I felt that um, I was holding myself back and, and I'm just not gonna do that anymore. Like, I'm ready, I'm ready. What do you make of the matchup with Hannah? Do you feel like the, the style matchup there too is something that's going to bring that side out of you even more? <laughs> yeah, um, with somebody that uh, stands and throws big power, uh, I feel like I was chasing some of my last opponents. I don't know if my feet were ever underneath me when I was hitting them. And, and um, with her, she stands there and, and she's ready. Um, so I don't think I'm going to have that problem. I think the matchup's great in my favor.